Last week, Sylvia held a musical soiree. The butler drank all the sweet sherry. Noel and his lady friend arrived to play the violin, plus the three little maids from school and the bantam of the opera. Now, let's see how the feathers are flying this week. Should have stayed in bed. Not that way. We have had an intruder, but fortunately, I frightened him away. I wouldn't wonder. You'd, with a face like that, you'd frighten Boris Karloff away. Now, listen, what have we lost? What's gone? All of our valuables. It's not much, is it? The family jewels gone? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. They haven't. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. What they, has gone? Well, they've taken everything, um, including that watch that my mother gave us for our wedding. But it, it never worked anyway. That's not the point, Raymond. It had sentimental value. It reminded me of my mother. Well, that's right. It uh, had a crack face. <laughs> He was a lousy actor, but this has to be seen to be believed. <laughs> Country roads, take him home. <laughs> Please, take him home. Wasn't that, Tom? Um... Yes, it was, uh, but forget it. These big stars, they can't take competition at all. <laughs> right, OK, back to the plot. Now, aren't we lucky that we have insurance? I should probably ring them up, don't what, you think? Is this the line on the line? The line. <laughs> Mother, father, what is all the commotion? Really, really. Middle of my sleep. Well, it just, uh, we've had an intruder, apparently. Yes, he came in and he took everything. Just came in and out faster than you can say, Rooty Hill High School. <laughs> he didn't take everything, did he? Yes. He didn't take everything, did what, he? What is it, huh? Oh, no. What is he it? He couldn't have. What? He has. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Oh, dear, oh, dear. He has. What's he... What's he taking? He's taken my teddy bear! Teddy, Teddy's gone! I don't believe it, I can't go with that! Shut up, no! It's only a moth-eaten little stuffed teddy! You can always replace that very easily. He was my best friend. Could you replace father? Oh, don't be stupid, I'm not stuffed. <laughs> no, but his acting is. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Teddy! I can't go on without Teddy! Oh, Teddy! 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 Which one? Which one? Teddy! 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 <laughs> uh, 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 just pretty good acting, don't you think? I think it's bad acting. <laughs> oh, Teddy! 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 Did you say something really, really, really No, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's it. That's it. I'm very upset. Oh! Stop all of this! This is absolutely stupid! Crying like this! You're a doctor, not the Prime Minister! Uh, 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 <laughs> sorry, Hazel! Come on now, we'll, uh, we'll go and get uh, Neville, your brother, brother the police, but we'll tell him yes. all about this. You'll know what to do. Here we go. Oh, Teddy, 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 Teddy! Right! <laughs> I'll ring the insurance company and get the wombat on the line. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yes, yes, it's Sylvia Trotter here. <laughs> Yes, he is the bad actor. <laughs> yes, well, we've been burgled. I was wondering, could you perhaps send an assessor here right away? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, mother, 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 mother. 
mother, 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 mother. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, I heard, I heard all about it. A burglar came in here, father told me. I can't believe it, he went through all your drawers. Dear, oh dear. More than your father's ever done. Oh, stop. <laughs> now tell me, what's that? Oh, this, this is my little dolly policeman. Looks a bit like me, doesn't he? Yes, Don't you think? yes. it's really very cute, yes, isn't it's very it? Good. I thought I'd bring in a long finale to console him after losing Teddy. Oh, good. And tell me, is that a truncheon in his pocket or is he just pleased to see me? It's just a truncheon. It's OK. Oh. Look, Mother, you should have joined Neighbourhood Watch when I told you, but never mind. Better late than never. I brought along with me Policewoman Bronwyn. She'll take it. She'll enrol you. Come on, Bronwyn. Policewoman Bronwyn. <laughs> there you are. Your Neighbourhood Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's really very Just hammer that over the mother. There'll be no way they'll get through the window. You'll be right. Thanks oh, very right. much, Bronwyn. That's fantastic. <laughs> Wasn't that beautiful? What about another hand for Bronwyn? It's a bit Fantastic. <laughs> Where are we now? I don't know. I think someone has went up. Oh, uh, yes. a knock at the door. There we go. Now, that is either your father forgotten his keys or it's the insurance assessor. But it's the insurance assessor. Right. Hello. It yeah. is. Get the wombat on the line. Yes. What's been stolen? Well, there's the cutlery, of course. God, she looks like Liz Birch. Anyway, go on. Yes. There's the cutlery, of course. Expensive? No, nah, target. Hard to get. To get. He means it's hard to get. Yes, impossible to replace. It was actually pure silver in King George V antique. Replacement costs? Ten bucks. Yes, ten thousand dollars that Friday. Yes. Now that's no, it's only ten dollars. Shut up. Shut up. And then, of course, there's the clock. Expensive? Oh, naturally, yes. It was uh, early 15th century French. Oh, more like 15th century target. <laughs> he means Target. Pierre Target de Paris. Paul Keating wanted to buy that clock. Very impressive, yes. Value? Um, $26,000. Mother, I don't believe it. I suppose you're going to say the batteries are 16th century. But I don't believe it. I will not be a party to this anymore. Oh, what? Oh, what? What's that sound? What's that? Th that funny noise. It's like a, it's like a scratching at the window. <gasps> I know what it is. It's the burglar. They always come back to the scene of the crime. Quickly, turn the light out. Quickly, oh, quickly, stop quickly. You're just interfering with this claim. No, listen, listen, listen. Oh, right, okay, right, I'll stand by. I'll stand by. Lucky I've got my bottle with me. We've got him. Turn the light on. We've got the 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 oh. the, 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 the bugger. Me father. What were you doing climbing in through the window? I forgot my key. L. Now that's that's what I call acting. L. Well, stop interfering because I'm in the middle of the insurance claim. Oh look, I can't take this any longer. I don't care, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, oh, I'm authorised to write you a check. What is going on here, Sylvia? Shut what is up, it? shut up, Raven. We're in the middle of an insurance claim. Yes, that would be fine. Right. Thank you. No. Hang on. This is a load of rubbish. Not worth a cracker. Stop waking a, wasting a housebreaker's day. Not worth it. And this is the drug that we Come back to me. I don't believe it. Teddy, 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 excuse me. Teddy, have that. Yeah, have that. Have that. Have this. Have this. Have this. And oh, that'll be the tag. <laughs> Will Sylvia change her insurance company? Will Paul Keating buy Sylvia's clock? Will the stuffing fall out of Noel's teddy? And will John Denver ever recover from his starring role in A Town Like Dallas?